my son got Mario Bros. Deluxe for the Switch for Christmas, so naturally, we've been playing it a lot lately. A lot. On one hand, he loves it, and on the other hand, he cries of lost progress and hard levels more times than I'm comfortable with, and I personally don't like it. And he does that because the game is hard. It's like the classic old ones, and while frustrating, that's perfectly fine if it wasn't for certain design flaws. Lives, specifically. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bad Place Games, and let's talk about the save features and how they can affect the experience, especially for kids. So when playing Mario Bros. Deluxe, you get a couple of lives. Grab 100 coins to get an extra one, or a green mushroom, which are quite rare. Die to a chasm, or Goomba, or Koopa, or any other danger on a level, you lose a life. Simple as that. Most levels also have a checkpoint halfway through that lets you start over from there instead of the very beginning of the level. And that might sound fair to you, and honestly it kinda is. Because when playing, especially with kids, you'll fail repeatedly. The first Koopa will be nothing, the first 8 tries you tr go for only for you to mistime your jump just by a little bit on the 9th try of the level, again. Nothing strange here, trial and error, lots of games do it. But if you run out of lives, you get a game over screen. The counter for continues, in other words, the amount of times the game over screen has been shown to you, goes up by 1 and you don't only lose that halfway flag, you lose any progress since the last castle level you completed. And that can mean several levels, sometimes an hour of trial and error just down the drain. And this is frustrating enough for an adult, a child around the age of 7? <laughs> Infuriating. And often it leads to tears, whining and a foul mood for quite some time even after the game has been turned off. Now there is a quick save in the menu, but that only works for when you want to stop the gaming session. And forget about it like he usually does, because he's 7. Same thing as with game over, so progress gone. Poof! You can't turn this off, it's just the way it is. And that means the game isn't something I can ever recommend to kids his age, and despite the anger, frustration and tears, he keeps going back to it because he wants to finish it. Because whenever he clears a level, he's overjoyed. And for us adults, that difficulty might very well be what makes it so enjoyable to beat a level. I mean, isn't that why people like the Souls-like genre after all? But for a kid? Just needing to restart that level would be enough. I mean, give it to me as a setting at the very least. You shouldn't have to start over five levels ago, or three levels ago, and then have to go through all of them, and probably get a game over screen in that time several times over. And in other games, for example Pokemon Scarlet that they also got for Christmas, it can sometimes be quite far in between autosaves. A few times now, long cutscenes, which is when he lost interest for the session anyway, will be after the last autosave and annoy him the next time he plays as well. What I'm trying to say is, a good autosave system, or even save states like emulators do, is key for the enjoyment of a child when playing these sort of games. And if it's not in the style of your game, add it as an accessibility setting. Because for a busy parent like myself, saving the state of a game, or at least a really good and reliable autosave system, that can mean the difference between actually getting anywhere in the game and losing interest in a game. And now it seems I must go and help him finish another level in a game that honestly I don't enjoy. Thanks Nintendo, really.